everybody. Welcome to my art room. Today's video. Uh, today I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to try to do a bloom without a pillow paint and see what happens. Just going to put my gloves on. Oh, I got these terrible gloves. They, I have to stretch them before I put them on or they don't fit. They're size small, which usually fits me. But I don't know, I guess I've got fat hands or something, but these are terrible, so I've stretched them out. I'm gonna make sure I pull them right up or they just rip. All right, I'm good now. Okay, so I've got this um, Peridot Green and Light Green by Mictex Basics mixed together. I'm gonna use it as the pillow. It's not a pillow, it's my colored paints. So I'm just gonna pour a big puddle of this. And see what goes on. I saw Tammy Anderson do this, so thanks for the idea, Tammy. I'm gonna give it a whirl. This is just a small tile because I didn't want to waste a bunch of paint. So this is a phalo green, phalo blue, um, blue flash by Color Shift Paint, and this is um, Amsterdam light gold and a little bit of Rust-Oleum gold mixed together. I think I'll use black cell activator. All right, so let's try. So this is the phalo green. This is too thick. Just a bit more water in here. too much. Um, I'll do, I don't know whether this is too dark. Maybe I should use a lighter blue. Oh, you know what? I think I'll try a pigment instead. This is a peridot, um, no gray. The blue was probably too dark anyway. I want some contrast. my mind I'll put it on the top flash I'm 
and some gold. I'm gonna torch it a bit. Okay, so let me find my black. This is actually a Payne's Gray. I'll use. Okay, let's blow this out. Let's see. Gorgeous cells. Look at that. I'll zoom you in a bit more. That's kind of far away. There. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Let's see what it looks like when I spin it. Even it out a bit there. I'll give it a quick spin. Whoa. So I better make sure it's in the middle. it has nothing to float on I guess it's getting there Yeah, 
just put a little bit of green around the edges. I'll just tip it. I think that's pretty good. I don't mind the green on the edges, but I'll tip it this way a bit and see what I can get off. It's moving quite good though. Try going this way a little bit. Try spinning it one more time. There, yeah, I'm going to leave it because I think it's really pretty. I like that way the gold um, came in there. I'm glad I did put the blue in there. It really made it nice. There you go. I just did a bloom without a pillow paint. Who knew, eh? I heard this from Tammy Anderson. She did one. So check her out. Anyway, there you go. It's possible. This was just a small 4x4 four four tile. And uh, yeah, I really like it. So thanks for watching and come back to Carol's Art Room. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Here's my tile that I did with a uh, base paint of pouring medium instead of a pillow paint. Anyways, it's drying fine and it's not cracking or anything, but note to self, 
don't pour over top of a tile that has paint on it already because as you can see the underneath paint is lifting because it's wet on there take off the other layer first I think because it's shiny underneath so usually I do soak my tiles if I'm getting rid of them and the whole piece just slides right off so I just did it as an experiment I was trying a new some new uh, something new so I don't usually do that but anyway it's not too bad next time I will know thank you bye bye